am doing a... It's not really a haul because I bought all of this stuff a long time ago. I guess showing you my makeup organizer. I bought this humongous thing from Target, but I filled it up so fast. <laughs> And for those of you who have watched my Olive Young unboxing video, that's all in the front. And then I have more in the bathroom. So in the bathroom is my skincare products. Out here is keeping my face pretty, essentially. So makeup, like cleaning my skin, all that stuff is out here. So the first thing that I have, I'm not sure if it's considered makeup, but I bought these hair clips on Amazon because I, I had those like those black, brown, clear ones that you just stick right in and they're like the butterfly prongs, stuff like that. But every time I would try to take a nap on them, it would just like hit my knee in the skull. So I like these because they're flat on the edges. See, they're flat here, so then when your hair clips down, this spiky part isn't completely on your head, so you don't feel it as much. And you know, I always like it when they use those things on me at the hairdresser, salon, whatever it's called. Bruh. <clears throat> testing one two and then I have three palettes total two of them were gifted to me by my sister's dear friend Christy if you're watching this I absolutely love you thank you so much these are the Marc Jacobs and the Naked Urban Decay palettes she had given me these because she doesn't really use them and I, I had mentioned makeup once and she just offered to give them to me so I'm really really happy that she did because it fulfilled my K-drama dreams. This is what the Marc Jacobs one looks like. I keep that here. And then the Naked palette, oh, the mirror pops off, so we're not, yeah, let's be careful about that. So this is what she looks like. She does come with a brush. She's all shimmery and there are more neutral tones. And the other palette I have is something that's called W7 In The Buff Natural Nudes. I stole this from my sister, and she's had it since she was in high school. She is now 25. <laughs> so, this is a really old palette, and I barely use it, but it does come with a brush and a very shimmery brown tones in here. So I use this a lot for more nat for natural, and who am I? Miranda sings more natural makeup looks. So I'm going to start off in the container itself. It's an acrylic container that I got at Target. I'm not sure how much it was, but the next thing I got were some Sophia Kashuk brushes. So the first thing I have is a facial dry brush. So people have been using this to help blood circulation, to help thin out their face, even bigger ones to like thin out their thighs and the cellulite or whatever. If you have cellulite, it's effing natural. But this is, this is supposed to help with your face and the directions on the box say that you're supposed to use it 10 minutes before you shower. I didn't use it for that. I used it when I had a skin allergy reaction to um, either too high acidic toner that I was using that caused dry skin and a rash on the tops of my cheeks and my eyes. So I used this to rub off the dry skin and make myself feel better. <laughs> and then the next I got were makeup brushes. So I have the concealer brush, an eyeshadow brush, well, it's called an eye lay down brush. And then a spoolie with a liner for eyebrows or eyel eyelashes. Is that what you can use this for? And then I have an eye cleansing brush and an eye crease brush. So I'm going to take off all the caps and show them to you. Hopefully I don't lose any of them. This is what the eye lay down brush looks like. I shouldn't be doing this. All of the makeup gurus out there are yelling at their screens, throwing their laptops away. This is what the concealer brush looks like. It's an oval brush. I haven't used this one yet just because my concealer comes with like a little sponge on it, but hopefully I'll get a chance to use this soon. And I like how they come in little containers so you can keep them clean. So my OCD is satisfied. This is the Clean Eye Cleansing Brush. I'm not exactly sure what this is used for, but it's one of the softest brushes I have ever felt, even compared to all of the other ones. It's a lot it's a lot less hair compacted together, and so it's a flat top too, so I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. But I bought it because I thought I'd need it. And then the last brush I have is the Eye Crease Brush. This is like a paintbrush feel. It's very light, and the brush is a lot longer, but less compacted bristles also, so... I don't know. I haven't used this one yet. In all honesty, I have not used a lot of this makeup yet because I've been working a lot, so I'm getting a little lazy. So then this I have used is the spoolie and liner brush meant for your eyebrows. 
I use this more for my eyeliner, not my eyeliner, I use this more for my eyelashes because eyeliner tends to make my lashes clump together, so I've been using this to separate them. I know that's not what you're supposed to use them for, but I do use the liner for my eyebrows. As you can see, it's already brown. I've tried to clean it, but this is a very, very thin brush, so it gets that look in there. And then the next three things that I have are meant for my skin. So the first one is the Spa Sciences Razor. I use this for dermaplaning. It's a, very, it's a thin razor, kind of like an eyebrow razor, and it's electronic, so it um, vibrates it as you move it across your face, and it helps get rid of dead skin cells, peach fuzz, and increases blood circulation as well. So I got that, and um, you're supposed to switch out the blade each time you use it, but I thought that was very expensive, so I haven't switched out the blade yet, just because I haven't done it in a while. The next one I have is the Gillette Venus Facial Epilator. I use this for my eyebrows and um, peach fuzz on the lip area, but they rotate and it pulls out all your hairs. Done deal. The next thing I have is the Flawless Facial Hair Remover. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Wow, wow. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it has a light and um, you rub this along your face and then it'll get rid of all your hair. Nikita Dragon spon is sponsored by this company, so go ask her, because I know that they do have a thinner one for your eyebrows. And then I also have a bunch of Eco Tools brushes. So these I got in high school for my um, junior year homecoming, because that's the first time I ever wore makeup to school. My friend helped me go get makeup at our local Target. So this is the one that she got for me. And um, I have two brushes that are double sided and then the rest of them, they came in a pack with like a makeup, like a, not a makeup carrying brush, a makeup brush carrying bag. And since I have this, I didn't really need the bag and I don't really bring my makeup with me anywhere. So that's why I just have this. It came with a foundation brush or like a blush brush and then this concealer brush, which is an oval, the fan brush for highlight or maybe contour. I don't know how contour works still and a lip brush and then in um, a separate pack, I got an eyeshadow brush set. So it has the short and long tips over here, as well as a liner tip and a blending tip. And then in these next two fat boxes over here, I just keep extra contacts, spa science uh, razors over here next to my Marc Jacobs, which doesn't really make sense, but it fit. That's what they look like. And then in this fat one, the only thing that fits is my micellar cleansing water by Garnier Skin Active. And then going down the line, I do have more skincare items over here jammed into one container. So, whoa. So I do have the up and up oil sheets. So these you just, people know what these are. And then I have two samples that I got in my YesStyle packages, both from Inuweek. One of them is a Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil and the other is a Beta Glu Glucan, Beta Glucan Moisturizing Cream. So I have not used these yet just because I don't know when I would use them for. So if someone could leave that in the comments down below and tell me what these are used for, then I'll use them. I also have a bunch of <laughs> Hydro Colloid Band-Aids. I use these as pore strips while I'm sleeping because, you know, actual pore strips really hurt and I have a thousand of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't. But I have a bunch of pore strips that I use. I have, they're all by Bior, and the first, these dark ones here are the charcoal version, and then these light ones are the regular ones. I just, I like using pore strips, but the peel hurts so much. And the hydrocolloid band-aids don't hurt that much, so I figured why don't I use those? But those are like five times the price. <laughs> so I save those for like a special occasion, if it would fit back in your container. And then over in this corner, I'm gonna make a full circle. I have emergency spa patches from Curology. These come every two months with my Curology nightly moisturizer and then they also are sending out cleansers and moisturizers that you can use before you apply your nightly uh, your nightly cream. And then I have some dino earrings in here, I don't know why. I have two e.l.f. beauty blenders. As you can see, I've already used one and they're covered in dog hair. And then I also have the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. This is supposed to last for 16 hours, but I never wear makeup for that long. And it's also aerosolized. So you gotta shake it real good before you use it and be careful because when I was filming this video last night, it dropped. Just you shake, shake. So be extra careful when using this, please. 
And so in this bottom section here is all of my Korean makeup. So first things first, I'm going to get the big stuff out of the way. This is not Korean makeup. This is a strawberry lotion that my best friend Francis gave me. <laughs> so I keep that here for my hands. And then um, I have a bunch of different lip tints, but these two ones are the ones that I didn't buy in a full pack. So the first one is the Ink Gelato. Yes, Ink Gelato Lip Tint by Peripera in the shade Wonder Pink. So these, I I saw on TikTok that a K-pop idol was wearing this and it made it really famous or something like that. And I saw a bunch of people buying it, so I bought one off of Yes Style. And then the next one I have is the Romand Neon Moon Glassing Waters um, Lip Tint in shade five, Rose Splash. And it's very glittery on the top and I really like it. I know you're not supposed to lick your lips after you apply this, but it tastes so good. I don't know why, but it's staying my teeth red because of the lip tint. But with both of these lip tints, they actually last for a very long time and you do not need to apply that much. You just put a little bit on the, um, like I want to say, right before the saliva line on your mouth and just mm, 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 and then dab, 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 dab. Your finger's gonna stain pink, but it's fine. <laughs> the other lip tints I have are all from Colorgram. You guys have seen them on my, t on my TikTok as well as on um, my Olive Young unboxing video. Update, I finally got the number two hard talk that she uses the most in the show. <laughs> I got it right after I posted my Olive Young unboxing video, so I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you all of them. I have all five lip tints here. They are all from Colorgram Talk. I bought them on oliveyoung.com. And so the first one is called Romance Talk. She's a little bit bloody color, but um, this one is very, very dark, very pigmented. So I would use this very, very sparingly. Number two, Heart Talk, the beloved Heart Talk that took forever to get. She is more of a pinky orange vibe. Yeah, it's a little bit more reactive to our pink lips. The next one is Light Talk number three. As you can see, uh, she, as you can see, she is a little bit more red, so it gives a bit of a more a popping color. And then number four, which is Daily Talk. This is a um, a more nude color, a little bit more uh, neutral compared to the other three. It matches our natural lip more, so I feel like people use this one a lot. Then number six, Fairy Talk. It is still more muted than the rest of the colors, as you can see here. Will it focus on it? Is it focusing on it? Again, more muted than the other colors, but it is still holding that bright pink color. So that's what these six are. I also, from Colorgram on Olive Young, got the two cubes. One is the basic cube, one is the romantic cube. I'm gonna open them up and show you. So this is the basic cube here. It's more brown and neutral tones, so it's better for uh, natural makeup. The backs are all glitter, so the stickers don't stick. That's so funny. The second one is romantic cube. As you can see here, there's more orange and more like uh, bright pink tones and just so you know the glitter on both of these in that middle section Very hard to apply to your face So if you did want to put the glitter on you're gonna have to scrape a little off and then apply it <laughs> This is the rosy tone up cream that she does use in the show It came with a spatula, but I dropped it on the floor last night and I haven't washed it yet So it is there it is a very muted pink color the cream itself. Wow. Wow. It's a very muted pink color, the cream itself. So I'm just gonna rub this into my hands. So the Rosy Tone Up Cream, I'm not sure if it's meant to act as like a concealer or like a highlighter, or if it's meant to be like a toning lotion, but this is what she looks like, and when I apply it, it makes my skin very, very light. Like, if I were to put it on my face right now, I would turn into a ghost. So I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but I've seen, like, on the show, I saw her applying it to the under eyes, so I'm assuming it's to give it that warm, dewy, glimmer look to your face. But me applying it to my entire face, like, as I thought it was a toning cream, it caused my, like, pieces of my skin to, like, peel off. 
like as I was rubbing it in so I'm not sure if I just didn't exfoliate properly or if it's not meant to be applied on the whole face but yeah so that's what happened that's also what I used this for to like scrape off all of the skin dusties on my face the next thing I bought on Olive Young again from Colorgram were the Milk Bling Shadows and I bought all five so I'm gonna show you all five so this is the first one it's double star it's like a very white glitter essentially and then number two, I believe this is opal blush, something like that. I'm not sure if I'm reading the Korean properly, but it's a, it's a more pink version of number one. Number four, number four, this is ending star. It's a brown glitter, so it adds to a natural look a little bit more. And then number seven, I don't know what it says in Korean, but this is what number seven looks like. And then number nine, Happy Aura. She is the pinkest of them all, shining bright like a diamond. Just so you know, these are meant to be like glitter eyeshadows, but when I applied them and they dried, girl, just scrape them off and the glitter just falls everywhere. So if you're going to apply those, apply sparingly, please. Because <laughs> I don't want y'all to waste any product y'all bought, you know? It's expensive in this world. And then in this corner over here, I have some homemade chapsticks that my sister made. If you're interested, I am i don't think they're on her shop, but go to etsy.com slash koshiocrafts. She makes shampoo bars, conditioner bars, lotion bars, dishwashing soap, and lotion bars, as well as sponges. So no, she didn't pay me to say that. But yeah, I also have an EOS chapstick that I use every day. And then two things that I was very, very intrigued by when watching True Beauty was the fact that they use cushions, but she also has a scene where she puts like foundation all over her face. So I'm not sure if the cushion is meant to be acting like as a powder at the end, like a setting powder to like keep stuff on your face, or if it's meant to be a full on foundation, but I've been using them as a full on foundation and this covers everything. It's magical. It's like a facial eraser for me. So I have two of them that I bought both on Yes Style. <laughs> the first one is the Romand Neon Moon Zero Cushion in shade 3 beige 23. Focus. There you go. I'm going to open it up. There's a little button. There's a little button here. So it opens like this. There's the cushion. I don't really use this one that much, but it is used. So don't be grossed out. And then there's a little door, like a gateway to heaven. And so then you bump, bump, and then you bump, bump, like putting butter onto a pie. Bruh. <laughs> I do really like this one. It is a little bit light for me, so I've been using the other one more. This one is the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion X. I like this design just because it's so shimmery. Look at that. You can see my ring light, like... Oh my god. So this is the shade number 301. This one is a little bit dirty because I use this one more, but an entering Jurassic Park. <laughs> so this is what this looks like. Again, it is a little bit of a darker cushion. So this is why I like this one more, just because I use it more often. It matches my skin tone a little bit more. I'm going to pop you all away. Good night. So that's that. And then going on to more American makeup, stuff I bought in Target or stuff people gave to me. I'm going to start with my lip stuff. You would think that with all the lip products I have that they would be better taken care of, but they're not, bro. Like I'm peeling skin down here every day. <coughs> so the first thing I have again is chapstick, baby lips chapstick. I buy this every single time I run out. It's very, very moisturizing. It kind of just stays on there forever. And then the next one I have is something called Human Nature. My aunt got this for me when she was coming to the US from the Philippines a couple years ago. It's called Made to Bloom Joy. That's what that is. I'm gonna open it for you. It is used, so don't get grossed out. That's what it looks like. It's a bit more mauve, a bit more of a neutral pink color. And then I also have NYX Butter Gloss. This is like, I don't know how many years old already. I bought it for my junior prom. I don't know if they even still make this, but it's just essentially like a butter lip gloss. Again, I have no idea what's the difference between this and regular lip gloss. Maybe lip gloss is shimmery and this is like lotion. I don't know. And then this one is the Kylie Tume. I don't know how to say it. Someone please correct me. Um, lip gloss that my cousins gave to me. And they said that they had liked it because it was clear and then they would apply it and their lips would turn pink. And I'm just like, if you look at it, it's clearly pink. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. And it's also because I may have layered it. So 
It may be contaminated. Bruh. But they gave me a longer stick so that I could get the flour out, but I lost it. So when the time comes, I'm going in with a toothpick. And I also have two Japanese Japanese tweezers, one thin and one wide from Target. And then I have an e.l.f. eyelash curler. I had been using the same one again since I was in high school. So a couple months ago, I figured I needed a new one because the other one was ripping my eyelashes out. So I got this. I like that the grips are bigger and the fact that it came with a clamp to keep it closed. So it fits in everything. Yeah. And then the next thing over here is my mascaras. I have three different ones, mainly because I don't know how to throw it away. So I had been using the same mascara since high school. This is a new one. I bought the new product and I threw away the other one, so don't come for me. I know that they expire now. So this is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Mascara, Volume Express Mascara. So this one I had been using ever since I was in high school. It's a thick brush. So it does make them go like whoosh, but again, it, it made them clump together and I wanted one that didn't do that. So when I was looking more into makeup after a breakup, I don't know if that rhymed or if I just repeated the word up. Um, I had been looking into primers as well and this one from Honest Beauty came with both a primer and the mascara in one package. Did it focus? I can't tell, I'm very far away. But the primer is this little pink butt here, and then you apply it, wait 30 seconds, and then you apply the mascara, which it's, a, it's in a lot thinner brush, so I do like it more, and it, it keeps my lashes looking realistic, so that's what I like about that. But more recently, I opened this on my TikTok, it is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I had seen Bregman Rock using these, I had seen a whole bunch of different beauty influencers using, using these, and then I saw an Asian girl with straight lashes like mine, and she said that she applied one coat and her eyelashes just grew. And then when she applied three coats, it looks like she was wearing falsies. And I mean, you can't get the full effect having those luscious lashes, but it makes them look heck up long. So that's why I like that one, and I'm keeping it. The next ones are all of my concealers. So first and foremost, this is the same concealer I've been using since high school. <laughs> I know it's expired, but it works. So this is the it's not new, anymore. new Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles by Maybelline. It's a treatment concealer, has a sponge on the top, you twist, you twist. I still don't... Mm. There's so much dog hair on it, oh my god. I'm gonna have to go over this with some micellar water later. But yeah, it, you twist it, twist, and then it opens up. The next one I have is the um, LA Girls Pro Conceal. It's a green concealer. This is not the same one I used in high school. Like, it's the same brand, but not the same package itself. But I had a lot of red zones in high school, especially on my nose, like on the sides of my nostrils, my T-zone, and I had really rosy cheeks. So whenever I asked someone to do my makeup, they asked me, do you have a green concealer to like balance out your red face? And I was just like, what? <laughs> But yes, I did have one anyway. And these two concealers are more recent. They're by Rimmel London. I got them at Target. Um, 100, shade 100 and 200 of the lasting finish 24 hours breathable concealer. This is what they look like. They, Like I said, they have sponges on the ends of them. Can you see anything? But this is what they look like. I use the darker shade to help shape tape my face without having to actually buy Tarte Shape Tape. And I use the 100 for like spot treatment or whatever you call it. And an essential I think that everyone should go buy right now is the Quick Fix um, Makeup Eraser Pen. So you, it's, this is what it looks like. I opened it on my TikTok, hashtag not sponsored. I got two of them. That's how important that they are. So you open it up, it looks like a Crayola marker. <laughs> and then it like, for example, if you mess up on your eyeliner or, 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 your mascara hits the top of your lid. You just grab this pen, just, it disappears. It's amazing. So you guys should definitely go get this. Uh, it's the quick fix and the quick flick on TikTok. I'm not sure which one it is, but type in quick, it should pop up. And then now continuing on with the eyes, I'm going into my eyeliners. I have four, two of them are black, two of them are brown. I use the brown more in my crease and my fold just to like pro promote it more make it show up more, because my eye folds are not the same. They are, nothing is symmetrical. So I have to essentially make one more big than the other. So the first one I have is from Colorgram. It's a cream liner. 
This one is a brown shade. So you pop it and then you twist it. You twist it. <laughs> and it comes out like that. It's a very, very delicate liner, so I do need to be careful with it because I have broken it already. <laughs> and then the next two are by CoverGirl. There's one a deep black and the other rich brown. Originally, I wanted the one that had like a little smudger thing on it, but I, I held the wrong one in the store. So these are just regular eyeliner pencils. I used the black one for an eyeliner, but then it broke, and I don't know if there's a sharpener on the end of this thing, and I don't know how to fix it. So, there. And then again, I use the brown one for the crease in my eyes and I blend it, blend, blend, blend it. Yeah. But the main eyeliner that I use is a felt tip eyeliner by Wet n Wild. <laughs> it's a very dainty one, but it's lasted me a while. I've had this since I went strawberry picking with my friends in Carlsbad and this is what it looks like, but it applies so easily. And I do like the felt tip eyeliners more. It makes me feel like I have more control over what's happening on my face than example like using the paintbrush ones, I feel like it'll just spray out at any minute. And last but not least, I have an actual foundation here. It's the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation in the shade number 40. So it took me a while to actually find the right shade of foundation. My nearby Target, I'm so sorry I put you through my returns. I would squirt them once onto my hand, apply it to my face, and I'm just like, nope, that's not it. And so, I started with the 30, and then when I went to the 35, I was just like, nah, let's just get the 40 instead and see if it works. And it does work. And I haven't actually used this in a while, just because I've been using the cushion more often. But once my cushion runs out, I can put this in my cushion and refill it. Magical. Now, off to um, this little washi tape holder that I got from Daiso. It holds all of my circular or like palette stuff that's too big to like handle its own. I got most of this stuff from YesStyle, most of it from Target, and a small majority from OliveYoung.com. I also, like I have two things from e.l.f. here. I I have Moonlight Pearl Highlighter as well as um, the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I didn't know if I needed a setting powder or not, so I just went with e.l.f. I figured that this would be a very good choice. And then for the highlighter, I had a highlighter that I had for like, I don't know, maybe six years? And it the lid broke, so there was highlight all over my makeup bag at the time, so I, I had to throw it away. So then I got a little one just in case so I wouldn't waste any more makeup supplies. That's what they look like. And I like the highlight just because it's not brown like my other one was. So it didn't make me look I had a tan on my face. And then this little thingy is a Tarte blush that my best friend Kayla gave me. I miss you. But this is a Tarte blush. I think it was a sampler that she gave me. I use this all day every day because it's the only blush that I have. But it matches my skin so nice. I have to say that because it's the only blush I have. <laughs> the next things I bought are from Yes Style. They are the Romance Better Than Milk eyeshadow palettes. One in dry lavender and one in dry peach. So I'm going to open them up and show them to you. They do have their own respective shades as well as a glitter shade and a brown shade. So I'm just going to look at the difference. Look at the prettiness. Of course I had to get both. And you can obviously see I use these a lot because there's fingerprints all over them. <laughs> but these two are actually very, very pretty. And they weren't necessarily on True Beauty, but I figured they looked pretty similar. And I actually just wanted to try them because my palettes, they're all like brown, mauve tones, like natural makeup. I wanted something that would make me look like a princess. So the only thing wrong with these two palettes is that they're not that pigmented. So when you are applying them, they're going to apply very, very lightly and it kind of looks like almost dusty. But you're, if you want that color, you're going to have to really, really layer it on or use a primer, or use a concealer. I don't know how makeup works, but y'all should look into that. Enough with the dramatics. The last things that I have are from Too Cool for School. These are the Art Class palettes by Rodin Shading and Rodin Highlighter. As you can see on here, it says it in French. It says, Illuminaire and Contour. <laughs> I don't know if it says that. Yeah. Creator de ton contour. That's what it says. <laughs> I can't speak French. I'm sorry. Please cancel me for saying that. It says Illuminaire on here. So this one is the highlight. I use this actually a lot more than the e.l.f. one just because it has different shades. So it gives you different dimensions as far as where you're highlighting. But honestly, I just take my fan brush and I go and I'm done. And then the Creator de contour. I don't know how to contour. If someone could link me a good YouTube video on how to contour a chubby Asian face, 
I'll love you forever. But this is what the contour palette looks like. I have not used it yet. Can you focus on something else than my ugly face? Please, thank you. But that's what that looks like. The last thing that I wanted to show you were the headbands that I got off of YesStyle. Most of my YesStyle stuff I already unboxed on my TikTok and my Olive Young stuff I did on my YouTube channel. But all of my Target stuff was like a little underappreciated. But everyone knows how much I love Target already. Like my entire outfit that I'm wearing right now are clothes that I just bought from Target two hours ago. So y'all already know. So this first one is kind of like, it looks like a towel almost. It's just a regular headband. It's very plush and it's um, Velcro uh, sealed. So it's very tight on my face. And then another one that I got, I don't really use that often just because I'm worried about um, the eyes falling off. This is a little monster. Again, it is Velcro, but look at the little eyes. It has a little beak too, that's so cute. And then the next one is my absolute favorite. I'm a bean, I can be a bean. So when I saw this, I immediately thought of being back in Key Club and seeing all the more important people in Key Club wearing bean sprout clips on their hats or their heads. And I was just like, I want I want a bean, I wanna be a bean. Like I want y'all to like me cause low key everyone in Key Club hated me. So I was just like, I want to be a bean. I want to be important, but whatever. This one is elastic. So I like this one more because it'll, it'll fit my face better. I think that's everything. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already and hit the bell for notifications on whenever I post a new video because I never know when I'm gonna post a new video and it's sad. Also, if you saw anything on this table that you wanted to purchase, I'm sorry, I'm not sponsored by Target. I'm sorry, I'm not sponsored by Olive Young. But if you want to purchase anything off of YesStyle.com, you can use the code Isabel18 for a discount on your purchase. So I hope you guys have a great day and yeah, bye. I can't, I can't reach it. Bye.